Welcome back here to the Iona Insider Pregame Show. John Seca being joined by senior center Sabrina Jaredor. Okay. Sabrina, you guys are coming off a grueling 65-61 to win over St. Peter's, but you guys didn't even play your best game, but yet you were able to get the conference win. What's that say about this team? Um, you know, it just says that we're a great team, you know, a lot of talent. Uh, yeah, it was unfortunate that, you know, we had a rough start and, you know, we had to push it out, but, you know, it just shows how great of a team we are. So we just have to keep that in mind, and we still have to go out and play, you know, our best and try to play harder than we did last time. The first half was a struggle for you guys. You shot only 25% from the field, had only seven field goals. What was struggling in that first half? Um, it was just our energy, like I said before. Um, you know, we had to get our heads into it. We were, you know, a little slow coming out. Uh, we lacked in a little confidence, but I think um, as the game went on, and especially after the, uh, after halftime, you know, when Coach, you know, talked to us and, you know, didn't change anything, I think that helped us a lot. And we just got together and we said, yo, we're a great team. Uh, let's just do what we do. Let's play Iona, you know, basketball. Well, and that's what we did. And the second half, the team came out with a lot more energy, and that was really key. Were there any game plan changes that the coaches made during halftime that led to the win? Mm, um, no, she didn't make any changes. Like I said before, she didn't even go to the board. You know, she just turned to us. She just said, "Guys, like, you know, what's our main, you know, key goal to win the game?" And, she, and we said energy. And she said, "Well, we're lacking that. You know, we're lacking energy. We're lacking confidence. We're lacking, you know, the basketball that we played." So, um. She just said, I want you to go back out there. I want you to have a great, you know, warm-up. And that's what we did. And then we got together as a team. We said, you know, guys, we're better than this. And that's what we did. We went out and we played our played our game. You, Princely, were battling Katie and Ben down low. And it was a good matchup because sometimes you had eight blocks and sometimes she was able to get the buckets. Yeah. Can you just talk about that battle for you down low? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, in the beginning, I kind of had her a little bit. Uh, I was able to get my one of my first blocks off of her. And then... Um, uh, when I sat out, she uh, she definitely went off. Um, she was just scoring. She's a strong post. She's very aggressive. She's a very good player. And then it was a little tough for me, you know, when I came back in the game because then, you know, she was already in her her, her groove and her motion. She already had the confidence going for her. So it was it got a little tough for me to battle her. But, you know, um, I just had to focus on keeping her out the pain and pushing her out because, you know, like I said, she's strong. And I think after I got used to, you know, sliding with her and getting used to how she was playing, uh, I think I was able to, you know, stay with her. Her. Yeah, eight blocks. I think you're able to stay with her. <laughs> now, St. Peter's, their gymnasium is not known as a shooter's gym. The yeah. rims are very, very unforgiving. And I think, <laughs> did that get into the team's head at all when they weren't making shots in the first half? Um, I don't even think, you know, we thought about the rims at all. You know, we played at St. Peter's for, you know, what, uh, you know how many years or whatever. Um, me, four. Um, I don't think that had anything to do with it. I think, you know, it was just, you know, us coming out slow and, you know, just the team not being in it right away, which, you know, was also just disappointing. But we got back into it, so we, we were eventually fine. St. Peter's hasn't been a strong team in a couple of years now, but they seem to play very well last game. Was that the best St. Peter's team you played since you've been here? Um, I'll probably say probably the best. Uh, maybe my freshman year, they, they also had like a good game against us, but uh, uh, from the past two years, yeah, they definitely showed us a great game, you know, last game, and plus we weren't playing our best, so they definitely looked, you know, uh, <laughs> like a good team, so um, they they definitely gave us a challenge, but um, I'm glad that we were able to pull it through. Now, Haley D'Angelo made the trip here. Up, We're up here in Buffalo in the frozen tundra. Haley D'Angelo, she might not play many minutes, but what's it mean to just have her on this trip with the team now? Oh, whether she plays or not, you know, her leadership is uh, very, very vital to, you know, our winning and our team. Uh, she's she's the glue to our team. She holds together. You know, she's the captain of our team. She, and we don't just say that just to say she's the captain. She's, you know, literally, you know, what holds us together. Uh, she's the voice of our team. And just having her here, her presence, she's definitely going to help us, you know, pull through any adversity that we had so it's it's always great to have hell around and just along with the rest of the girls but I'm definitely glad that she's here now again you have a tough post battle day against Jamie Ruddle a good yeah. back to the basket player what's the key for you to hold her down um unlike some of the other posts that I, I play you know they're just bas back to the basket strong aggressive post players she also shoots the three uh, so uncontestedly so um I definitely have to focus on you know being out there when you know she's in the trail spot you know making sure my hands are up but um I think if I just play my game you know, and you know, play aggressive and strong down low. I'll be able to keep her out of the paint. I should be able to keep her, you know, uh, you know, out of the, out of the, you know, out of layups and stuff. And um, if I just slide my feet on the perimeter, I think I should be able to keep her lo locked down. So. Kanish just likes to run the tempo. They like to score quick in the shot clock. Defensively, what do you guys have to do to slow down their offense? Oh, we just have to play our tempo like we do every game. Um, you know, our press should uh. 
help you know slow slow them down a little bit. Um, if we just play our defense, come out with a lot of energy, you know, get them rattled a little bit, maybe they'll start to slow down their tempo, and that's exactly what we're aiming for. You know, just to play Iona defense, you know, lock them down, and you know, just get the, the teams, you know, a little rattled, and we should be fine. Sabrina, good luck today. Thank you.